To add a stroke to a shape, switch to the Stroke tab and tick the checkbox. Notice how the stroke colour is previewed in the Stroke tab. To make it easy to see what I'm doing, I'm going to turn off Fill for this shape. Back in the Stroke tab, to set the width, slide the width attribute. Let's increase the width a bit. Next, let's turn on Trim. This will allow you to have partial paths as well as to animate the stroke along the shape's path. Let's shorten the stroke a bit. Next, we can play with the travel attribute to move the stroke along the path. Notice how our stroke has flat ends. We can change this by changing the cap style attribute. Let's choose round. Let's turn trim off so that we can better demonstrate the dash patterns. You can make strokes dashed by entering a dash pattern. A dash pattern is a series of comma separated numbers. The numbers are in pixels. The first number you enter is how long the path is on for, the second is how long it's off for, and so on. Typing just one number and hitting return will autocomplete, like so. Use the dash offset to animate the dash along the path.